welcome back to Model Mania Live. Today we are doing Model Mania from SolidWorks World 2015. Oh, was that just two years ago? Yeah. And this is another one that I got third place on. I really I remember the part. I remember kind of how I built it up. Probably going to do something very similar. And uh, let's see. Oh, how long did it take me? It took me 20 minutes. You're like, well, Michael, don't isn't the limit, the time limit, 20 minutes? Yeah. Right at the last second, I entered in the factory safety, hit submit, and that was it. And it was done. And it was auto, everything automatically just closed down on me at that 20 minute time point. I'm like, well, I got it all in there, right? And sure enough, I did. Got third place. So my goal here today is to at least beat that 20 minute time, see how fast I can build this up. Uh, maybe use some shortcuts that I don't typically use and get more prepared for SolidWorks World 2017 in LA next week, right? So um, I remember kind of how I did it. Oh, that's what was weird. It's these cuts in there. Yeah, so we've got this section view up here so you can kind of create this sliver cut that goes underneath. What are we? Ah, yeah, so this is the material that we're cutting out. Okay, well, let's get going. All right, Model Mania 2014, here we go. So right off the bat, we're gonna do that material, ASI 1020, that way we don't forget about it. Let's go to the top, S key, circle, circle, outside diameter of 60, Side diameter of 50 and then we kind of have this circle coming out out here um, that was 10 to add some relations we know that's horizontal we just kind of have something like this come out here those two lines are equal. We know that's horizontal. We've got, we don't know what that is. But I have an angle here, 30. Um, we can do a fillet there. Oh, what's the size? Eight. R8, yeah, okay. That line's up there. We know the diameter of that is 75. Do 75 divided by two, that gives me a fully defined sketch. So I'm actually just gonna build this up one at a time. If I wanna do mid-plane, uh, no, I don't. Sh mm, sure. Yeah, let's do mid plane. Um, total distance there of 20. And then we're going to reuse that sketch of just that mid plane merge result that also goes 20. Oh, I should have sketched out those top. Oh, well. Uh, let's go back to our top. We kind of have this cutout feature here. Now that is 90. I can right click, select midpoint, hold control. Those are horizontal, that's fully defined. Sure, let's just define some value there. We'll do an extrude, oops, cancel, extrude, cut, mid plane, depth there is 10. And let's do some fillets. So we have full round, oop, that one. So we've got this, right click, that, right click, that one. That, right click that, right click that, right click that. 
fillets of regular size. The size of those is eight. And pretty much all of these doing a circular pattern around that equal spacing of three and there is our phase one materials applied hit finish oh okay right, we're looking really good um, so I think that's I think that's beautiful yeah wall thick five okay that's fine uh, next change so this one's tough right because they just destroy our seed feature there um, so we do a little trick here to just do some direct editing and delete those out of there rather than having a monkey around with um, what we have. We do have some simulation going in there, but I'm going to spend less time here. Let's see how well I can do here. So let's just do delete. I'm trying to remember if delete face actually works for us here. Essentially, we just want to take all of this out of here. Delete and patch. What did I miss on my selections? Delete and fill. I feel like I missed something. <laughs> Let's try this again. We've got the cylinders. We've got those inside faces. We've got that. We've got that. Yeah, there we go. All right, so then on the top, let's build this new, excuse me, cancel that. Uh, we're not ready for that one yet. On the right plane, no, front plane. We create this here. So we've got coming out there, transition into an arc, something like that, that. That's horizontal, the click the point, that's tangents. We know that distance is 40. Um, we want to extend this in a bit. Let's go normal two there. Let's see how far we may want to go. That. Delete that. Let's go to that one. Make coincidence, and then we want a line there to there. That gives me my profile. Uh, let's do a, another hole right in the middle. That is eight. Extrude boss. Mid plane. Uh, Twelve centered. And let's go to the top, and we'll do a midpoint, something like that, where the height is two, and we're already centered, so I don't really need to worry about that. Let's just make a relationship there. That's coincident. Ah, eek. Features, extrude cuts, mid plane through all there. Add some fillets of eight. Is it just those ones? I think it is. Everything else is the same for. Oh, no, it's not. They changed those values on us. Um, oh, yeah. Move face, move face, move face. Rotate about temporary axes. We're gonna rotate about, oh, come on, let me pick it. Um, let's see, so we were, 
20 minus 45. Oop, that's not the right value. face that one about that at 30 degrees uh, flip direction hit okay that's right so those are what's moved almost missed that I think the rest of my fillets are still good yep yeah. all right so let's get into simulation Express Fixing those two. We're adding a force. Selected direction. Yeah, to the right, add a total of thousand total. have our material let's run simulation yes continue factor safety 0.921 time stop man I wish I could do that faster <laughs> awesome so what it took us 10 minutes 14 seconds not bad not bad at all I mean that's 9 minutes 46 seconds faster than the last time I did this. <laughs> so, I don't know, let's uh, let's take a closer look at the drawing, see if I made any mistakes, and we'll check back in a bit. Alright, so the expected value is about 4.24, 4.3. Clearly I did something wrong. Oh! I did. Total, right? I misread that. The drawing says apply a thousand newtons total to those four faces. All right, man. It's a little bit of a misread there. Let's rerun that with that change. That's still lower. Yeah, it says a little area, so maybe yeah, mesh dependent there. Uh, maybe the stress is a little bit higher in that area, so then the factor of safety is lower. So let's call it with that. So yeah, I think overall a success for Model Mania 2015. Great improvement over my original time of 20 minutes. Uh, so granted, I know I've done this one before, but it's practice is practice, and I feel like I'm getting better at each one I do. So I think we're, what, we just have two more, right? This was 15? 16. We have one more practice. Who knows, maybe I'll do a couple other practice sessions and not record them just to make sure I'm extra prepared. Anyway, I hope you're doing the same, and we'll see you on stage at Model Mania next week in L.A. Have a great day.